I am very sorry to say this video is going to be very rambly. I typically write down everything I need to say on like a Word document and read it, but I couldn't do that this time and I will gladly tell you why. So as you can see from the title, you know what this video is about. And ever since I decided to make this video two weeks ago, my life has been chaotic electronic wise. Here's everything that's happened. Oh, there's my shadow. My soul exited. You guys see like the shadow my arm's doing? Barf. Okay. So I posted how to use a Ouija board safely like two weeks ago. And I planned on posting this video that same week right after that. And then my own experiences the next week. It's going to make it a whole little series. Do it all at once, right? No. So, <laughs> so here's what happened. I get out my laptop and I type out my script. All of my thoughts, okay? Everything's good and I go on to do my next video because I was going to go ahead and type out all of like my personal experiences because like I said, I need my thoughts written down or I talk kind of like I am right now, just like a consistent ramble. Uh, so I'm doing that and my laptop stops charging, which is like not good because it was dying and I was like, that's weird. So I kept messing with the, like trying to fix the charging port. The charging port broke. It was not broke. It broke and the charger broke with it. I was like, all right. <laughs> so I'm lucky enough to have a second laptop. So I go and grab that one, haven't used it in forever, get it booted up, get Word on there and type out my thoughts again, get them all typed out, everything's ready to go. This computer starts buzzing. Um, I don't know how to describe the sound it was making. It starts moving very slow and then it starts overheating to the point that it is turning off because it is getting so hot. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Cause see on the first one, I was like, okay, the laptop's not that old, but like maybe it's ran its course. But the fact that it happened twice with that, like being the common factor, I'm sketched out. So whatever, I was like, I'm gonna take a break from this. Obviously I'm gonna have to write it down on pen and paper or something. And then someone in my TikTok comments was like, that paper is gonna catch on fire. And me, who's very scared of fire said, no, I just won't make the video. So things are fine or whatever. I decide I'm gonna make the video because obviously this thing doesn't want me to talk about it safely. So I need to, um, I would rather you guys learn everything about him from me safely than to go research him yourself and this stuff to happen to you. This is happening to someone who is being safe and taking precautions. So that's how bad it can get. So anyways, the other night, my sweet husband was like, hey, your laptop that's making the buzzing sound, it's still working a little bit. It's just running extremely slow. I'm talking, you would look at this side by side with dial up internet and be like, what is wrong with that computer? Because it is moving slower than dial up internet. So he gets on the computer, we wait for everything to load. It is 2 a.m. before that Word document is loaded. The plan was for him to load that up. I was gonna jot everything down, just like key points on a piece of paper, immediately come downstairs, film it, delete it off of everything, and throw the paper outside in the trash can. That's my cat. So it's loaded at 2 a.m. I have fallen asleep and my husband just takes pictures, sends them to me and just forgets. I forget that they're on my phone. So the next day I wake up and I am posting, trying to post a video on TikTok. And it's not about that at all. I think it was concert videos from when I saw Bad Omens in Atlanta. And my phone just starts overheating and glitching and TikTok is like messing up. And I restarted the app. I restarted my phone but my phone is messing up. And then I was like, okay, maybe it needs an update. I don't really know. So I forget about that or whatever, put down my phone, go do what I need to do. And I come back to my phone because Bath and Body Works was having a sale the other day. All their three wicks were $13 each and I wanted to get some. So I was gonna put in like a little order and just go up there and grab them. And I had a little um, $10 off a of 40 coupon and I was like, okay, I need to put in this code because that is a steal. It's like one candle's almost for free. So I'm putting in this code and I punched in the code several times, made sure it was precise. It was precise every time, okay? And each time, each time I was met with, sorry, the code Z is invalid. There wasn't a Z in that code. I was not pressing Z, but you know what? You know what has a Z in it? 
the speller's name. That's, I was like, oh my God, those notes are on my phone. I need to delete them off my phone. And I did, and my phone's been fine. My phone has been fine. So I apologize for the ramble amount that this video is going to be, but we are gonna talk a bit about Z. This is all the key points you need to know, how you avoid him, and I do not want you guys to look him up. Don't look up his name, don't say his name, don't search his name, don't think his name. Simply call him Z if you need to. Um, don't research him, he loves it, it fuels him, he will, come to, he will come find you. I am so genuinely serious. This same entity, there was something involving him that happened with um, Ghost Adventures. People watched that episode and have been haunted by this thing. It is that serious. I've, I fear I've picked her up incorrectly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But without further ado, let's get, let's talk about Z. Now, if I am telling you that researching him is unsafe, how do I have all of this information? I wasn't just born with it. Let me tell you. So in 2019, I accidentally contacted this being for the first time using a Ouija board. It was my first time using a Ouija board. Had no protection set up. And that is why I made the video that I did last talking about how to use a Ouija board safely. But when I used it, I did not have any safety measures put up or anything. And I was playing the board with someone who um, this thing was already attached to. So then that went to me because I had no protection set up. And whenever I contacted him, like I said, I knew nothing about him other than his name, which he told me. So I turned to Google, deep dove into all of this research, and my life was very hectic with paranormal activity and bad things for a very long time because of it. It is not safe to research him, especially if you have no protection set up. So this is everything I learned, all the information that I have just up here. I'm going to share it with you safely and then we're all going to move on with our lives because he doesn't need to have this much energy over us. Okay, let's get into it. So I know his name. Many of you guys probably know his name. His name starts with a Z. I ask that you do not comment it. If I see it, I will delete it. Um, I don't, I don't like reading it. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the energy that it brings to me. Even fully protected, I don't like the energy. I just don't want anything to do with it. But for this video, we will call him Z. Reports of Z being contacted via a Ouija or spirit board go all the way back to when the board was first made. This has been around for years and years, these same experiences. And each experience seems to be kind of the same. And the outcomes after are kind of the same. And for me personally, I just feel like too much has happened for it to not be real. Um, and here's the thing, a lot of people do not believe that Ouija boards and spirit boards are real, and you probably won't unless you play them with people you wholeheartedly trust. I have played with many different groups of people, uh, people that have no idea that I've ever, you know, well, they, they know, okay, let me back that up. So I have played with multiple different groups of people that I always tell people when I play with them that I have contacted this thing because there is a like 99% chance that is who you're gonna get if you touch that planchette with me. You're probably going to get him. And I disclose that because that's not fair. But I don't really go into detail on what happens and the same things will happen each time. And it's people I trust. I don't play the board with people that I do not trust. If I do not trust that you will not move that planchette to mess with me, I will not play it with you. It's always people I trust. And I feel like unless you have that experience, if you're already having doubts, you won't really believe the board works because it's kind of, it's a lot. Like, I mean, one of the rules is don't play it by yourself. It's like, obviously that so surely can move the planchette and scare you. But that's not really the case in my opinion. Now let's talk about who or what is Z. There are many different theories on what Z is, ranging from something that was never human all the way to a human that died tragically, to an actual demon from hell, depending on your beliefs. There are so many different things. I have a bad feeling. Okay, we're gonna rush through this because I am wigged out. Hey babe. hoping he would hear me and just come sit with me. I am like sketched out for some reason. I don't really get wigged out by these things, but I have like, I feel like I'm going to be sick. 
Um, okay, you know, it's fine, it's fine. Like I said, there are many different things that Z is interpreted to be, but I'm gonna tell you what I think Z is. I think that one of the first rounds of playing a Ouija board, um, something negative was contacted. I don't know if that started off being a person that passed away kind of tragically. I don't know if that was something that was never alive, um, but I do think something negative was contacted. And I think the fear from that grew. So something negative was contacted. The person got scared, obviously, and that fear just kind of fed into this negative energy, right? And so this kept happening. This is just fear. Anytime you touch the planchette, you're like, what if I get this thing? And you're feeding it and you're calling to it and you're just feeding more negative energy. And now it has manifested into this giant horrifying thing that we all call Z. I think that's what happened. You might not think so. Many other people do not think so. That's just what I think. Like I said, that doesn't have to be what you think. Um, he is more of a trickster entity for horrible reasons. Like. He doesn't like, he doesn't pretend to be like someone named Gertrude. And then he's like, I'm just kidding. Want to hear about my life? No. He will pretend to be deceased loved ones that you are trying to contact. He will try to be um, children's spirits. He did that to me recently. He pretended to be a little boy. Um, it was very, very, very traumatic. I That footage is up if you guys are interested in seeing it. But he will trick you and he will hurt your feelings with it. So you will think you are talking to an innocent spirit and then things start happening with the board. So whenever you play a Ouija or spirit board, you need to question everything. If you think you are talking to your grandmother, keep in the back of your head like, no, it's not. Be careful, watch for signs. And whenever I told you how to safely use a Ouija board, I told you the things to look out for. Um, if the planchette starts doing rainbow motions across the letters, shut it down. Um, if it starts doing repeating letters such as M-A-M-A, -A, that's one that he uses a lot, shut it down. Um, if it starts doing figure eights or like infinity symbols across the board, shut it down. Keep your finger on that planchette. Make sure... I keep hearing stuff. It's fine. I think I'm just scaring myself when I'm hearing stuff. Keep both fingers, everyone keep those fingers on that planchette. Everyone says goodbye out loud and you, everyone takes that planchette down to the goodbye. Do you see a, I feel like I'm pale. I feel like I'm going to be sick. Now it is believed that you are, if you are unfortunate enough to contact Z once, you will get him every single time on the board. Coming from someone who has contacted him, I can tell you that not every time I have played the board, but every single session I have gotten him. So with one session, I'll play the board multiple times and it's not him every time, but without fail, every single session, I speak to him. He never really leaves you. He gets very attached to you, very possessive, and it's not fun. And you can no longer use a spirit board for if you want to contact a relative or things like that, it kind of ruins it for you because he can attach. But I firmly believe that if I had had the protection set up, that I should have the first time I played it. I don't think he would have been able to attach to me, but I did not and here we are. It has been since 2019 that I played that every single time and every single, like once every single session since I have played, I have spoke to him. Do not be afraid of this entity. I know that sounds so silly because he's terrifying and I have a bad feeling right now and I'm trying to keep my fear in check. Um, you are feeding him. If you are scared of him, you're thinking about him, you are basically just sending out a smoke signal to him and you don't want to do that. Um, this video, I gave you very little information. I didn't even give you his name, but you know the bare minimums that you need to stay safe from him if you ever touch a board. I am never encouraging you to use a Ouija or a spirit board, but if you do decide to, I cannot wait to go back and watch this footage because I am hearing stuff. Um, I am never encouraging you to use a board. In fact, I don't think unless you have done the most intense research ever that you should ever touch one. And you should never touch one without clear intentions. Um, it's a lot. And this guy is very scary. He's very powerful. But you know what? You can, you're fine. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. Um, next week I'll post a video talking about all of my Ouija board experiences, 
my experiences with him. So if you guys are interested in that, I, I'm going to throw up. Um, I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. Be safe out there, have a good day. Um, if you're Black Friday shopping this weekend, be safe and yeah, be nice to people, especially retail workers. Don't be mean to them. Why are you doing that? Bye.